Hey everyone, welcome back to CBL Wellness, Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie and today I'm sharing a super quick and helpful tip and mindset that you should remember if you're in a relationship with someone who you care about or even a friendship or a family member. And it's something that I've been trying to focus on in my own life and it's really easy to do but often we make this mistake all the time. So the tip is, is that if your partner or your friend or your parent or your loved one comes to you and says something that you've done that has hurt them, so maybe they say, you know, last night at dinner, the way you're talking to me felt really like condescending, or I feel like you dismissed me when I try to share my opinion, or I feel like you're not present with me when you come home, whatever it is, what you don't want to do is ask the person to prove it. So you don't want your response to be, okay, well, when was I condescending and how how is that condescending or what are you talking about? I, I'm not present when I'm home. When am I not present? Tell me a day and time I wasn't present. Because what you're doing is A, you're immediately becoming defensive and you don't want to be on the defense. So you're becoming defensive and you are asking the person who just has, you know, shared really vulnerably with you what is upsetting them because they want to try to get closer to you um, and not let this, you know, drive a wedge between the relationship or not let this cause issues in your relationship. They're coming to you with a concern because they're trusting you that, you know, you're going to want to help them make the situation better. Um, and you're going to also want to make the relationship better with them. So asking them to defend themselves or prove it is not the way you want to go about it. Instead, you want to lean into a validating their feelings be like, you know, I didn't realize that um, I was talking in a condescending tone last night. That was not my intention at all. And I'm really sorry that it came off that way. In the future, like I will do my best to not speak that way. Or I'm really sorry that when I come home, it's causing me to feel like I'm not present with you. Is there something that I can do differently when I come home to make you feel like I'm being more present here? So not necessarily like fixing the problem for them or like providing a solution, but collaborating with them and communicating with them and validating their feelings to come up with a solution. Because at the end of the day, our relationships are not court cases. Uh, there's no winner and there's no loser. There's no right and there's no wrong. You're a team and you're trying to make the team work as best as possible, which means validating each other's feelings, trusting that what someone's saying is their experience is in fact their experience, and figuring out ways to help make your relationship better for the both of you. So I hope you found this tip helpful. Uh, if you want to have more relationship or sex advice, give us a follow at CVO Wellness. Uh, and please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. That really, really helps our channel. Uh, and I appreciate all of our new subscribers that we've been getting over the last year or so. So thank you all so much and we'll see you for another video soon.